ultimate monday.com tutorial for beginners how to use monday.com for project management hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use monday.com for your project management needs and how do you actually go on about with this platform and start managing projects step by step on their workspaces so let's get into it now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create your account on monday.com I'm gonna run with the assumption you already know how to do that you just have to enter your email and create a password and you're gonna be ready to go now how do you get started on monday.com well the first thing that you're gonna see is on your left you have your navigation panel so from here you can navigate through your workspaces then you have notifications you have your inbox you have your my work section and then below that you have your apps where you can integrate different apps into your monday.com uh, workspace then you have your invite members so you can invite other people and work in a group setting then you have your search everything and then you have your help and then you have your account settings so in your account you have your my profile you have your explore section you have some other stuff that we're not going to focus on so the first thing you need to do is understand workspaces what are workspaces and how are you going to navigate to them well a workspace basically on monday.com is a entirely separate section of work so let's say i'm running two businesses for example one of my businesses is about dogs and cats and one of my businesses is about luxury fashion so probably like the people working in both of my businesses are pretty much different and there is no overlap between my businesses so in a situation like that you are going to create two workspaces so those are going to be like two entirely different sections of monday.com so currently i'm in my main workspace which is just like uh, i created it accordingly to uh, more of a student aspect then i also have like a management workspace and a production house workspace so maybe if i want to create like a cats and dogs business then i'm going to click on add workspace over here i'm going to click on open or close so this is going to be dependent on every team member in the account can join. So obviously we're going to create an open one and then you can just name your workspace, whatever. So I'm just going to do cat and dog wellness project. And now I'm just going to click on create workspace over here. And just like that, my workspace has been created. So once you have your workspace, this is what your empty workspace is going to look like. Well, after that, you can add a description. So maybe I'm running a cat and dog wellness project. Or I'm doing some volunteer work. So maybe it's some kind of project like that. So I'm going to add a description helping provide shelter and food for the cats and dogs of our area something like that so i'm just going to add that and then below that i have my recent boards my members and permission so the first thing that you need to do after creating your workspace is create your board so what are boards boards are the sections where you're actually going to be working in so you can create multiple boards so let's say if some people are only focusing on uh creating shelters for cats some people are creating shelters for dogs and then there's like an entirely different group of people that are focusing on um managing the food elements and you know providing food for the animals or pets so you can create two different boards for two different purposes so you can just click on add and then you can click on new board over here you're just going to click on over here and this i'm going to name uh food and water board so this is going to be focusing on uh food and water providing food and water for the cats and dogs so just like that and i'm just going to click on over here i'm going to delete all of the prerequisite columns and show you guys how to create your own from scratch so i'm just going to delete all of these and i'm just going to delete this as well delete all the excess columns like so and there are two groups over here so you can just delete an entire group as well just like that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start from scratch and after creating my board i'm going to add a board description so my board description could be like um sourcing and displacement of food and water something like that you can add whatever description you want and then i can click on invite over here and i can invite the people that are going to be working on the uh sourcing and displacement of food and water and what i'm going to do is first off i'm going to add a group title so a group is basically a section of tasks that you can create and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add uh sourcing and then i'm going to add a new group i'm going to click on add new group and the new group is going to be called displacement like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on displacement and I'm gonna click on the color and I'm gonna change the color to purple just to you know keep the tasks separated. Now, what this section basically is, is the task. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it. And what I can do 
is I can click on this item once and I'm going to click on this over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add meat warehouse sourcing, meat warehouse deal maybe. And what I can do is I can click on these three dots over here and I can manage some people and add to this form as well. But I'm going to leave it at that for now. So once I have done that, I'm actually going to just add or remove these excess sections and I'm going to add a second item called maybe water supply deal like this and now i have added these two tasks basically and now i can create columns of what kind of things rely on these tasks to be completed so i can click on a column and i can add the status so then i can rename the status into progress first off i'm going to click on edit labels you're going to click on those and then you can add your own custom label so i'm going to change this label and add it to uh, no deal uh, deal in progress and then you can add completed and then I can add like a new label called maybe this blue label that could say negotiation something like that and I can click on apply and now I can add you know the progress of a certain task now another thing that you can do is click on add column and then you can add people so you can add a focal person or whoever is the person that has been assigned the project or the task and then you can assign those people over here you can just click on this and then you can assign them and then you can click on add columns and then you can add many useful things as well so you can add the date for when this task needs to be completed you can add numbers you can add timelines you can also add dependencies and time tracking and all of that other stuff as well but these are like some of the basic things that you need to add now after that you can click on add and then you can create a new board and then what you can do is uh let's say on the new board we want to do housing or uh, adoption and then you can do that and you can create a board housing or adoption and then you can manage and write all of your housing and adoption tasks on that separate board. So this is how easy it really is to manage your projects on monday.com. I'm pretty sure that you guys have now seen how simple and easy it is. Sometimes it can seem a bit overwhelming seeing all these different tools and all of these different text, you know, on monday.com because it is pretty detail oriented, but it's pretty simple to use. And this is what your main view is going to look like. After that, you also can go into your timeline views, which are only available for the premium versions of monday then you also have table views dashboard views chart views kanban gantt cards form files gallery so you can click on any of these views and then you can add them over here so maybe if you want to view things on a calendar you can do that as well you can also do it in a kanban form so they appear like in these kinds of cards like this so you can do that as well now that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to manage your projects on monday.com Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.